Perfect. There you go. All done. Okay, cool. Well, hey, it's great to see you guys today. Um, have you all ever seen Kid Rock in concert? Well, he can't. He comes out on stage and he does this to everybody. Um, so, um, and you're, it just and then he has these girls dancing in cages and there's fire up above. So, um, what questions do you all have before Katie gets here with her long-winded presentation? Um, virtually a ghost on ghost on social media. Okay. So, um, on social media, do you have Instagram? No. Okay. The only thing I have is Facebook. Okay. Are you taking the notes? It's okay. Hundred percent. All right. So you have Facebook. Do you have a business page? Uh, not yet. I'm getting my uh, headshots for this week. Business cards come this week. Everything kind of falls into place at the end of this week. Get it next week. Okay. Um and who is doing your um business cards or anything like that? Um, my wife made. Well, we got to made together. Okay. Uh, Zazzle. Gotcha. Okay, cool. So um, if you were to type in your name on Google, right, for like, your social media or whatever, this is this is going to pop up. So I went out to California for um, family reunion, I, and I'll just talk a little bit until Katie gets here. Um, and so I hired this company, and I don't know if it was worth it or not, and paid them to mirror, mirror all of my um, social media. Hey Siri, 1205, please remind me to check land. Okay. All right. So everything should somewhat look the same. Now, Keller Williams gives you a website, but they told me to keep my own website, which I've had since I was on the radio in 2000. So for 23 years, I've had a WordPress website. And the WordPress website looks like this. And it's uh, and I've got FraserJuice.com, and it's really cool because it feeds my Twitter. It feeds, and I and I can design it and customize it anywhere I want. So I can I want on here, um, on my on my website. Do you see what Do you see what's happening here? And then it also feeds my Twitter, and also my my anything that is on my Facebook goes to my Twitter as well. Do you see this? So it's very, very different. But what I'm trying to get, get at is the more you, if you're on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, it puts you out there on the Google search engines, right? So people can see you. So if I go in here to, and it took me a long time to get to this point, but I'm always posting. And she's going she's gonna to hook in her computer. But if you see right here, It'll bring up my videos on YouTube too. And then Zillow. Create a create a Google business page. It's free and anybody can give you reviews. Okay. That's so I'm sorry about that. Just a So are you ready to hook in? Yeah. Who's on there? Um well. That's it. So we got four participants. We've got Christian, Sherry Long, and Dewey Long. I'm not sure if Dewey and Sherry are related. Michelle Rodenheiser is here too. So, um, or husband and wife. I love. Hi. Oh yeah, I remember you. I, I met you here the other day. You're you're really uh -huh. very, very sweet. I'm emailing the the um, presentation. So Katie has a presentation, but what I'm getting at, guys, is that. If you've got your Instagram set up, you've got um, your Facebook set up. If you look at my screen right here, it's going to feed these Google searches. And one thing I want to challenge you all to do is just go in here. Like Damon Gutierrez has got a hundred and some reviews on, on Google, right? So, but I don't care. What I want is on my, my business page. I want myself to look crisp and clear and I want my reviews to look nice and friendly and sweet. And anybody can leave you a review, right? So I'll, I'll let Katie switch over. But if you all can hear me. For, Fraser's still talking. Sorry, I just have control of the computer. For, the, for these reviews, for like um, Zillow and Google, um, I consider all this stuff, marketing and social media kind of mac meshed into one, is that my mom's last name is Thomas. So my mom's last name is Thomas, not Hughes. So she has left me reviews. I needed some, I need something to get started, right? 
So just throwing that out there for a tip, anybody can leave you a review. I won't tell you where I left my own review. You can figure it out on your own. Great to see you, Teddy. Looking great, great energy this morning. Beautiful smile. I didn't reply to the email yesterday, but I voted for you. I'm not sure what we're voting for, but I think it's a good idea. Oh, to go with Nicole. I'm oh, I straight up voted for. It wasn't me. I didn't care. Hey. Love you. Mean it. Love y'all both. Try to do this. Hey, great to hear from you. The closing that delay due to repairs. But All right, y'all ready? Please stay in touch with me. Have it Sherry, are you and Dewey on the same computer? No. Okay, I was just asking. Do we need to be? No, I just saw both of your names, so I was just asking. Oh, okay. No, I don't care how many computers you're on. <laughs> I'm on I'm about me. two now. No. Hey, it don't bother me. Um, I'm gonna hit. We have just a little presentation. Not very exciting. Don't get too excited. How did you make your presentation? What did you use? Microsoft now. Sherry, can you see that? No. You can't see any of that? Uh, I mean, I can see that. You talk about the social media? Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah. Perfect. Sorry. I hate this doorbell sound. Y'all know that. I can't stand it. How do I get rid of the sound? You need me to mute? No, it's the doorbell sound on there that keeps going off. Sweet Jesus. Tony Gravely's on. Yeah, but I don't want that up there. I want this up here. Yeah. Why don't you give me a call I'm gonna head off to my house and go make a sandwich? What do you got? It's not even up. I quit, I swear to God. Love you, Tony. Why is that up there though? Not down here. Sorry, I was at a listing appointment. Oh Lord. Huh. One way to do things, y'all. You want me to yoga? I don't want to use this computer as the whole issue in a nutshell. Look. Okay. We're going to try this one more time. I like to use my own computer. I just wasn't here fast enough. Where is your computer? In my backpack. Shit, you might as well hook it up. But they're on Zoom on this one. All right. This <coughs> one. All right, you ready? Pray to start that because I was um, So we have taught social media tips, social media strategies, social media startup. We've taught basically every kind of social media class, right? When people think social media, usually for this office, it's usually creators and reminding that come up. That's how that is. So um, if you guys have questions about your pages, obviously you can always reach out to us. I have a few things on here that Fraser and I pulled that we really want to hone in on because I feel like we're both broken records with everybody. 
And we're always like, do the video, do the post, and nobody does it. So maybe some of this will help convince you guys otherwise. So this is from the end of 2022, how real estate agents plan to get their business, okay? Improving social media presence was on 80% of their goals for 2022. You want me to really scare you? One of the next graphics is going to show you that only 10% of agents use social media to promote their listings. We can't, we can't get people to do it. And, you know, I, you know, I was, uh, the top car salesman in Berglund Luxury in 2017, and it was all social media and videos. And people were asking me, like, it was no mat, there's no magic, but the magic is making the videos. And like the magic is face out there constantly. Out of all of our agents, there's probably out of all of our agents, there's probably maybe 10 that make videos, really, if you think about it, that you're seeing all the time. This is out of 105, 13 agents. And those, the ones that are, you know, are, are having traction. I thought possible. I figured it'd be 10% dull. That just seemed done. Because what they'll do, so 80% had it as a goal, right? That was their goal for the year. 80% of agents were going to improve that social media. They did it for the month of January and stopped. Well, then what happens? All the traction that Fraser's talking about, getting the Google reviews, Keeping your name in front of people just dropped, right? How's everybody know Fraser's in my name? Because we don't get it everywhere. <laughs> the, the, the other thing, too, is that when we went out to, it was God. It sounds like God. So, there. When we went out to Family Reunion, Gary Keller got on stage and said that the market was going to be a little slow and that we all needed to ramp up our marketing more than ever. And then that would allow us to take 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 ownership of the market, and that's when I really started pushing heavier on the social media. Um, you know, one night I'm going to go out here and put a lot of signs out. My stickers are out at different places, um, and people are talking about it. You know, and that's when I decided I was like, I'm, I'm not going to let people forget about me. So that's the one thing is that people won't forget about you if you're in their face all the time. Yeah, politely in their face, politely. One other thing I want y'all to say, how about that sense of doable? Hey, I want y'all to think about this too, okay? And a lot of this stuff just comes to me as we're teaching this class. But if you were to make a video with your client or at a house with your client, and I said, hey, can I put you in the video? And you tag them, do you know where that goes? That goes on their social media. And that stays on their social media. So if someone's scrolling through their feed, for instance, I've got clients that I'm tagged with, with my real estate sign, they're friends forever because when you get a you know when you get a facebook stalk somebody you go through and you're like oh well that's what fraser looked like when he was 30 oh he was a real weirdo right but then they go through, if you were to go through and just start stalking me you'd be like oh they're you start seeing people with they're these educating pictures. themselves about you correct educating but anyways the, this social media sticks so if any of you, even no matter how far along you are, if you were to tag yourself with a photo of your client at a house or with your sign in your hand, I mean, we can teach you how to do it. Well, and here's the thing. You think Fraser and I did this overnight? This is continuous work. <laughs> but Katie and I, Katie and I enjoy doing it. It's like stuff we think about when we get up and have our coffee. Is it my underwear? <laughs> or the leg on the table? Oh. Well, I mean, no one's here, so you're on you're on video though. I can't see it. Could y'all I, also want, it. I want it to do it? I just don't know how. I got you, Sherry. We're gonna get you all set up. Yeah, I, I mean, I I would do it every day. And I think I'm coming to the I, New River Valley with Nicole the end of the month. Are you gonna be there? Oh shoot, is that this week? The end of the month next week. That's RJ. I know that voice. Hey, the other thing to think about too, it's like. <laughs> Listen, Sherry, I am coming with Nicole to the NRV though, to train you guys, to help you with this. Okay. The other thing to look at on here is yes, they want to improve their social media. That's 80%. 58% want to create marketing videos. Here's the thing. And I run into this a lot when I'm coaching people. Okay. They think that because it's not perfect, they can't post it. Uh, no. 
because if you're waiting for a perfect video, it's never going to happen. Okay. Just post the video. Just, just post it. Don't worry about making it perfect. Make it funny. Get attention. Get your name out there. Get the house seen. Whatever. But if you're waiting to post a perfect video, you're going to have one video a month and nobody's going to care because it's one video a month. And you can make videos anywhere, anytime. You know, I, so what I, seconds. I, I was the realtor that bought my own house. I don't know if you did that, but I'll go in my okay. house. I'll go in my house and shoot videos and be like, hey, I'm at my client's house. I sold him this house. Well, I sold it to myself and I'll shoot videos of things in the house I like or outside of the house. They don't know where you are. That's the other thing. You know? And also, people want to see your personal life too. They want to see your dog. They don't want to see. Uh, uh, they don't want to see all of it. They don't want to see a ton of your personal life. But they just they, want a little bit. Yeah, they, they want to know you. Yeah, they want to know you. They're following you like a reality TV show. So they want to see that. You know, hey, Fraser's training for the Iron Man. You know, there he is with his shirt off. Uh, there, so you know, like Fraser is with his wife on his anniversary. Got hundreds of likes, and at the end oh, of she's that, cute. she is. She's very sexy. Um, I wasn't going to say sex yet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but also to um, just so that was going to cross the line. So I and in in my post, I put my wife encouraged me to get my real estate license. So I all tie I tie everything into selling the house. But I I I, I put the stuff out there. There's you a have, me- there's a method behind the madness. You have to continually put it out there. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I personally plant seeds in people's brains. I'm like. Okay, when I post this picture of my wife and I, all right, one, my wife will like it. She'll love it. I'm giving her attention, but people are probably going to gravitate towards it. And I'm going to mention cute. some real estate in there, right? So not only are they feeling the love, do you see it's, it's like I'm, I'm putting my brand in there too. Always. So. Yeah, it feels like yesterday, Christian was talking about finding your niche. Like you, those two go hand in hand. Like Always. Always. Make videos posted. But like this this gentleman in here used to be an appraiser. I mean, dude, you could be like that could be like your 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 thing. I do know the market really well. <laughs> Make videos about that every day. Like I know more than most of your real Hey, I, you don't have to say you know more than me, but you can say his first TikTok last week. Yeah, hey, yeah. I, I know hey, I know hey, hey, now he's professional. Hey, I hate to tell you guys this, but I probably know more than any other realtor about it because I was an appraiser and most of them were. Don't be that guy. You don't have to say it like that. You could say, hey, guys, I know a ton. Like, I'm, I am an asset. I'm, I'm a I'm, huge I'm, asset. I'm your lethal weapon. Okay. Sex weapon. Not that either. Fraser's going to be cut off. Sorry, class. we had to make the class fun because <laughs> if it's boring, I don't want to know it. All right. So you saw the 22 statistics. These are the 2023 realtor statistics. I know y'all can read, but just in case you cannot, Frazier, could you please read this slide right here to me? This one. Could you read this? Video content on social media generates 1,200% more shares than text. Video content, 1,200% more shares than text and image content combined. 1,200% more. Did y'all all hear that in Zoomland? 1,200% more. Tony Gravely, did you hear me? He is not on the thing. What do y'all see on Zoom land? The first part of social media. Mm, I heard you. Or do you guys got- Zoom land is maximized your social media? It hasn't switched over. No. Oh. That's why Retainer came over here. Now, can you see it? Yes. It says real estate marketing statistics 2023. Yes, ma'am. Do y'all see this section? This is right here. Yeah. Yes. 1200% more. So, Matt Nader, why are you not making a video? Because Mike just made it with me last week. Why are you not making a video, Matt Nader? Look, now, poor Dinkalo. Sure, he could. <laughs> Chuck Bradley, why are you not making a video? Oh, she just made one this morning. I know. Do you know who taught her to? You? I did. She's she's my protege. I'm working on her. 
Tony Graffa, do you see this? Video content generates 1,200% more. First of all, I posted a video. Thank you. I'm proud of you. Don't tell her. You can make them. She's on the phone. You can make it on, on Facebook. You can make it with the camera app on your phone. Don't you give me excuses. Excuses are garbage magnets. Which you got to bolt. Trying to get clarity. Oh, and clarity. See, there you go. Clarity is power. That's another bolt. Right at the top. That, that's hacking. Yes. Yeah. So, one, one thing I want to mention, guys, I believe my inspiration to attack too. <laughs> Y'all. Hey. I, I believe my TikTok TikTok class this week is in person. I'm not going to do it like this, okay? So when I worked for Dale Carnegie, I, and you guys can Google it. He's not doing it over Zoom is what he's telling you. I got coached by trainers. They would video me, and you know, one trainer would coach me while they videoed yeah. me, and the other trainer would take me in the uh, take me in the back room and coach my video. Did y'all catch that? She said she did one this morning. Don't like a did y'all catch that, what I just said? So these Dale, these Dale Carnegie trainers, these are two trainers that would coach me. So what I'm saying is that these, these video classes, if you really want to learn, you should do them in person with Katie and I. And what we can do is we can break off where you make a video and he makes a video and we'll coach you on the video. Okay. Because if you're sitting here at home, it's kind of like, okay, this is great. But hey, I want to see Very you on different your, offices. Yeah, I know you are. I want to see on your computer I, here, here, here. I want to see on your computer, make a post that's cool and created a different. You can then text me and say, hey, NRV, check out my, NRV. Yeah, just check, check out my yeah, page. Christian was on there. Video. She's in Lunchburg. If that makes sense. I make, I'm, I'm posting a video right now. This is not my underwear. This is. Um, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Can't with him. Anyway, y'all see the statistic right there, 1,200% more, right? Take that into account with 41% of home buyers looked online for properties for sale first. How are they looking? Zello usually, right? But how else do they find properties? Facebook, mm -hmm. Instagram, TikTok. Because what's everybody always on? Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. So if you want to get their attention, why are you not utilizing them? 74% of home buyers use mobile or tablet search for properties. They ain't using that laptop. They're on their phone. And you know what they're doing? Poom, poom, poom on the reels. Because I know what they're doing because I would rather watch a reel than read a post. So I know what they're doing. Because what do you do when you have your phone on your board? You hit the reels because you want to laugh, right? You want to see something. You want to be engaged. You want to be entertained. A post doesn't entertain you, right? A post keeps your algorithm going. So you need to post, but you need to throw the videos in if you want to leverage it up, right? Maybe. The question, you have a Facebook account. Great. Can you start like TikTok and Instagram accounts? Can you just do it on Facebook and it goes to all of them? With, like, uh, not TikTok, but Instagram and Facebook can be the exact thing. So it's one place I'm good to go. Yeah. But they're like, you got to do, you got to Can I share what's been successful for me for videos? I don't want to talk about your video this week. I, well, oh. not just that one. I just meant in general. <laughs> no, you, you, that's that's not even his video. Calkin video. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody yeah. saw the Calkin video. Yeah. But I was just going to say, start at TikTok, save the video, post it on Instagram and Facebook. That's what I do. Congrats, man. I take the ones from TikTok and post them on Instagram and Facebook. One of, most of my Instagrams or TikToks get two to 500. I have one on Instagram that is almost at 600,000 views with over 20,000. It's the same fucking video from TikTok. I saw it's 800,000. Yeah. He's over a million on it. It's not even his video. 1.2 million views. <laughs> All you gotta do is find something that takes you viral because then you're gonna hit the algorithm and you just keep posting through it. But you can't stop posting. If you want to keep that up and get the viewers and get the people and get the attention, you have to keep posting. 
I post about you guys in coaching. I have a mega agent who does $12 million in business in Florida who just reached out to me for coaching because their Keller Williams office only has productivity coaching. There's nothing after your first four transactions. There are no coaches. So she reached out to me to see if I could coach her via Zoom because she said she's not quite ready for maps coaching. And that's only from social media. So if I can get a coaching person that way, how many clients can you get? I'll go back to the back and keep staring at this. You got to have new shoes. Like, I see you all the time. Like That's hard. To... No, it's not. No, it's not. We got this. So, RJ, tell us how you got your million view video. He copied some else. I, I, I literally I saved a video that I like from TikTok, shared it on my TikTok. It was a caulking video, and I just shared it on my TikTok, and it just blew up. I and I used three. I used three hashtags, and those three hashtags got me the one point two million views. Like how to caulk something? Yeah. Yeah, caulking. Yeah. Good job. I thought you were thinking about Macaulay caulk. Oh, no, no, Cal caulking a door. God, sounds awful, but hey, good job with the views. I'll take a million. All right. I love you, Jay. <clears throat> Ways to maximize it. What are we going to do first? Guys? We're going to make videos. We're going to make videos all day, every day. Now, what happens if you make videos for a month and stop? Is that going to maximize your social media? Nope. So we got to post regularly, okay? Does that mean you can't skip a day? No. You can skip a day. But you can't skip weeks. So let's talk about what Katie said and what RJ said is that um, there is an app called Repost and you, it'll takes the TikTok logo yeah. off the TikTok video. But what you do is you copy your link from your TikTok video into Repost. It's an app. Then it downloads to your phone. So it's on TikTok and you can upload that to your Instagram, your LinkedIn and your Facebook. So it makes it really smooth for you. Right. So that's what I was doing while we were on the phone, while we were on the while she was on the phone with you guys. So I have Snap Talk. It's the same thing. But if you have that TikTok logo, it messes up the algorithm. That's why you want to remove it. If you put it. Like, it's called Snap Talk. Sorry. I didn't even I didn't even remove the, the logo and it still did that. No, you didn't. Why are you so mad, bro? <laughs> because I can't get mine that high. I'm so mad that you just copied somebody. I'm up here trying to think of original stuff. He's up here copying and winning. So... He, he, he didn't remove the TikTok logo. He just reposted it. I know, and I always tell you guys not to reinvent the wheel. If he didn't, and he succeeded. Thank God, it, RJ. Yeah. I know he's listening to me. That's the problem. Coaching students, that's weird. Whoops. Yourself, well, we just talked about it right here. Number six, post on multiple platforms. Be unique. Met number three, engage with commenters. Yep. Number four, follow and tag other accounts. That's where Fraser's talking about. Tag your clients, tag other realtors, tag the lender, tag the location, tag a business nearby. Um, sponsor a giveaway. It can be for your own stuff. That's what I usually do because people like to win stuff. Post on multiple platforms is where he's at. Learn how to use one and go through others and then be unique. Listen, you cannot be the person saying it's 3 a.m. and I'm thinking about selling your house. I mean, you can, but everybody knows who that is, right? You can't want to sell houses so your dogs can live a better life because that's me. You have to find your own thing. So, there. What's the house plan? You got it, I guess. There you go. But you have to be unique. If you're not unique, they're not going to follow because you're not entertaining. <laughs> Fraser and I are entertaining because we're extremely ADHD. Clearly, first just left. It was apparently done. Just so y'all. Um, oh God. All right, guys, can you still see it if I blow it up? Because I, I got to see Katie. Yes, ma'am. If Dewey and I were to do our first video uh, to, like, introduce the business and all that, what would you suggest we do? I would suggest we you get car and I sing the bass and we sing, since that's what we do. Oh, I would write a song. Absolutely. And then I'll share it, because that sounds really cool. It does sound really cool. I'd share it too. But in the yeah. KW group. Yeah. Sorry, that's what we got to do. Okay. Yeah, because see, we sing and play all the time. That's what we do. If y'all need a drama, give me a call. So <laughs> I, need, I need Dewey to write a song and then we can 
Do we Maybe get on? Do. Yeah, he can write good dog songs. Hey, I might need about dogs. our beagles. No, about my dogs. <laughs> do you guys see the engagement rate on here? Uh -huh. Do what? Six, the engagement rate. That's what this this graphic is right here. Uh huh. TikTok is blowing the others out of the water mainly because of videos. Yeah, we need to do a TikTok, but I'm not on TikTok yet. Get you there. It'll be okay. But even if you put the video on Instagram or Facebook. Yeah, really Facebook. Facebook. Okay. That's TikTok's taken off because of the videos. Okay. We'll try it. We'll be fine. We got you. You better like it. I, I like and share it. And you better share it. You know I will. Okay. These are just ideas of when you can post. I would do videos, but it's a me thing. I usually do a static post and a video for each one, actually, and so does Frazier. Because then if I have a coming soon, how many can I do? I can do a coming soon post on my Facebook and I can do a coming soon TikTok, right? And the post will be there with the information, but the TikTok catches everybody's attention, right? But then that gives me two posts on my social media, like on my Facebook and Instagram. So that's two days I'm already taken care of during the week, right? So it's less I have to worry about. Every single one of these, you can do a video and a static post. So when y'all out doing open houses, where's my videos? Yeah, I should have made one the other day. You had the perfect opportunity in BFE to make a video. It was so beautiful out there too. It was. Did you make it so beautiful? I was gonna do. I was gonna do a live video, but then the other realtor was there and threw me off. She was already trying to get in. and couldn't get into the house. I showed up so early too. I showed. Up. Damn. Why did you call me and tell me? Because you should have known. Uh, you're right. <coughs> Usually, I try to do a live video when I get there before. See, did you hear that video? Hey, Katie, I'm going to hop off. I got to pick up a client. Um, I'll catch the rest of it on the recording. Okay, bye, RJ. Bye, RJ. All, All right. right. I'm going to go on this every time I teach social media class. Consistently posting to social media. All right. Just consistently. This isn't even maximizing it. This is just the basic level can get you anywhere from six to eight additional closed transactions a year. So basic level, bare minimum of social media. Um, oh, snap. There it is. Bare minimum of social media can get you six to eight transactions. All right. 200,000, six times six, that's $36,000, right? Now imagine if you're maximizing it like Frazier and I do. Probably double that, right? If you're maximizing it, you're probably getting at least 12, that's $72,000 just from using social media. So what are we gonna do? Great posts and posts and videos. We don't make videos. We're going to download videos and repost them. Can y'all imagine 72,000? Oh, that's, that's a scary statistic. $72,000 just from using social media consistently and at a high level. That is not any referral you get. That is not any open house lead. That is not any lead if you're on a team. That is just you consistently using your social media at a high level. $72,000 a year. Why are none of you guys doing this? I'll take your money. Don't worry. I'll do it. But I want you to do it. Because I want you to do it too. She's so <laughs> And you need to write them. Go get your unfair share. I'm going to take my unfair share and your unfair, and your unfair if you don't post. I'm going to take them all. 
Because seventy-two thousand dollars that I just have to show for you. I'd do it all day long. Here is the scary statistic that I wanted to share. 10%, guys, 10%. That is it. Only 10% of agents use social media to advertise their listings in 2020. That's an NAR statistic. I advertise all the listings, especially when I do open houses. Because you're at Calabrians. I, for the first time this weekend, saw a bunch of Steve Rowan new listing on social media. I've been licensed since 2016. This is the first time I can honestly tell you I saw a new listing social media post pop up in my newsfeed from one of their agents. Awesome. They just don't use social media. I know some realtors down there. They're just older, I guess. I mean, honestly, it's, it's made to say it. Yeah, they're not the social media type. There's a bunch of brokerages that are not the social media type. There's yeah. your other answer. Keller Williams is very big on trying to help you get out there, trying to coach you. A lot of agencies coach you. So not only are we big on coaching, I like cheaper ways to get stuff done. So I like social media. Yes, yeah, like free. so it's basically the best platform you could ever use and it's free. Yeah, free. Unless, yeah, unless you Unless you're paying for an ad. Unless you boost your boost. Which the last ones I've done were not worth it. So I'm yeah. anti boosting them. We boosted my wife's a lot. It used to. I, I, it, it used to. It actually, used to get you know, a lot of traction like a year or two ago. But in the past six months, nothing has happened with boosted for our real estate. So I don't boost them anymore. And I think they made up numbers because I would it would say it's been seen by this many people. Like everybody I would ask to be like, well, what was it? That's a count. So it doesn't have to be people you know. Those are Facebook accounts. <coughs> yeah. But if you sit here and you think 10%, all right, there's 1,500 realtors in the Roanoke Valley-ish, all right? 150 of them are the only ones sharing stuff. Keller Williams. <laughs> you want to talk about an unfair share? I'd say Keller Williams is probably eight of that 10%. That's crazy. So, mm -hmm. Now, this is a nationwide statistic. This is not just Roanoke. So it could but be higher could, they, like that, locally. Yeah, you could use it in Roanoke too. I mean. But that is the nationwide average. Only 10% of agents share their listing. And most of the other social media is really lame. They just don't know how to do it. And what I mean by lame, it's like low-key, grand, grandpa style, really boring. And we can help you. That's why Fraser and I are here. That's what the next slide says. So, Sherry, we are here to help you. Oh, wow. This is totally generic. This is very good. I like this. You can't send any slide. I like that. Yeah. Questions? Did you know if you need help setting up your accounts on different platforms or producing a schedule of what and when to post, schedule batch, batch post on your accounts, that we're always here to help. Just reach out to us and we'll help you any way we can, $100 an hour. Now, I'm kidding. <laughs> hey. When I was younger, my mom took out a quote in the yearbook. I'd switched high schools, and all my friends were at the, a lot of my friends were at this old high school. She she took out a quote in the yearbook you could pay to put someone in the back. It was me on a, a stool in acid wash jeans, and the quote said, "Dare to be different." And so I used to be scared to you know be kind of goofy and weird. But then when I worked for Dale Carnegie, I, I saw that goofy and out outside the box sells. And people want to see like people, what I, want to be people want to see me with my child or hey, what does he do? What's his morning routine? Or you know, like have fun with it. Just get get out of your shell and don't you know? I I texted Katie the other day. I was like, some people were bashing me on TikTok about one of my videos, and she said that's okay. Let him talk dirty about you. you know, like this yeah, guy he's still talking about you. Get it? Yeah. Yeah. Trolls and they're like, I'm not doing anything to help you. I'm like, you're boosting my videos. So keep commenting. Yeah. I replied to the troll. But also, <laughs> also, one thing she said too is that, and they'll, they'll teach this in bold, is that when you go onto Facebook, like, you know, commenting on like your friend's picture or whatever, if you have a post, like my anniversary post, a lot of people said, hey, happy anniversary. And I can go back in and say, hey, you know, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Hope you're having an awesome day. And I won't talk about a house. 
but they'll see that I, that I care, you know. So that's what on the weekly check in, where I tell you to check in with the five people, one person each day, and just check in is from Bold. One other thing you can do, which I've, I've mentioned this a ton, and I, I don't do this every day, um, is that if you go to events on, so say you've got a Facebook business page, right? If you go to events on Facebook, it'll show that, hey, it's Matt Nader's birthday today. So maybe I haven't talked with Matt in three years, or maybe we're friends on Facebook, but not public. Then I'll just go and type on Matt's page with some crazy emojis. I hope you have an awesome birthday. I'll hit the at sign, and then my business page, the Fraser Hughes Experience Realtor. So not only is that stuck on his page with the crazy emojis, but he sees, hey, the realtor guy said hi to him. If he clicks on the link to the at sign, it takes him right to my business page. And you can do that for people every day on their birthday. You know what I'm saying? Like for, for all the birthdays, it gives you a chance to put your realtor stuff on their page without being. They're, they're their friends. The and their friends see it. And then whatever the tag is of your space. Yeah. Because uh -huh. that's how you're signing it. Yeah, that's how you sign it. I'm going to give you guys one other thing I've been doing here recently. Here. And uh, one other, and I'm going to try to switch this up a little bit. And I have told you all that you could, you know, I've told some people they can do this if they wanted to. Um, can you all hear me okay? Uh-huh. So say I've got a listing and I'm getting ready to list a house today and I did yesterday, is that if I go to Facebook Marketplace, I can put my listing up there as for sale. Now, I've gotten a couple of leads off there. I get a lot of weirdos, but I just want you to think about this. So I go to Facebook Marketplace and I create a listing. And you all can use my pictures from my listings if you want to go rip some off right now. Just go type in Fraser Hughes. You can rip my pictures off, download them, copy and paste, okay? So I go to Marketplace and I, it generates me exposure because like, hey, it, it puts the house out there. So I go on Marketplace and I'll say this. Oh, well, show thing. the reels because I'm not logged in. Can you all hear me? Uh -huh. right, so, so I'll put on there, this house is being sold by the Fraser Hughes Experience Realtor. My team is ready to help you. Call or text anytime. And then I'll paste the, the, the information about the listing, all the photos, the price, and then you can share it in other places. And I'm a member of the Roanoke County Yard Sale page, which has 40,000 people and a bunch of other pages. So the last listing I did in Brandon Court had over, over 2,000 clicks. And it takes me like 10 minutes, but I so like it because it's generating a shit ton of exposure. And one thing that they've started doing now is they'll let you add a video. So I could go take a 10-second video on my phone right now. I don't think I look that great today, but I don't care. Um, I can say, hey, it's Fraser Hughes. Thanks for checking out my listing. You know, I'm selling a lot of homes, and I hope you're doing great. And I can add the video now to the marketplace. So they're scrolling through there like the picture. All of a sudden, I pop up my signs on there. I mean, that's a shit ton of expo exposure that these people are seeing all over Rana. And when you post it to those multiple groups, that's almost 200,000 people that I'm pushing it out to. Now, did 200,000 look at it? No, but I mean, that house on Granny got two, over 2,000 clicks. So that's just one way to get yourself exposure that's free and easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I know you list a new house because I'll have five notifications because I belong to all those yard sale pages. So think about it. Matt's a good example. You know, I don't want to be annoying, but I want them to know that, hey, I'm here and I'm and I'm fucking selling. Yeah. 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 Matt, if you look at it five thousand people look at it five times, you house is gone. Yeah. And then, and then I can go back to my clients and I can say, hey guys, um, by the way, my extra marketing that I did for you that the other realtors are not doing, because I can promise you a lot of realtors are not doing it. It had oh, your house had over 2,000 clicks on it. So, and, you know, that's just one thing that I can do. Like, I'm going to do that today. I look forward to doing it. It's fun. I like, I like knowing that I'm pushing myself. It's free. <laughs> it's free. These are the ones that usually get seen a lot. Yeah, this one. I think that's. I like yeah. that. <laughs> but do y'all see how easy that is? That's not even at a new listing. Here's our this, client event. This is off topic, Frazier, but uh, my dad was in uh, manufacturing 
uh, management. And he said one of the best things he did was take Dale Carnegie. Oh, cool. Good deal. Yeah, he took it. They That's had their up. management teams took it. See, client event, customer appreciation night. I don't even have half the people. No, I don't want to log in with TikTok. Thanks. They're not going to let me do it. You can only see a couple of them without logging in. Oh, uh, this that's this morning. Here's a cup of coffee, and I'm the first one up in the house. Before my Kindle, I journal in a note, but now I use my Kindle. I listen to peaceful music, and I read my favorite meditation. This gets me centered to sell your... So this is the morning ritual. See how I squeeze it in there? See how I squeeze it in? Now go to, go to this one right here. This is a really easy one to make, the marketing, this one right here. Are you the watching one? Dewey? Yeah, because marketing is everything when I sell your house. I pay the most money I can to use the best pictures, floor plans, and virtual walkthroughs. Check this out. Show walkthroughs. Floor plans. I've marketed thousands. Because yeah. marketing is everything. Oh, do go do one more. Do the, do the tour. Do the toilet. I like, I haven't done the toilet up yet. <laughs> now, uh, I always plunge toilets, but my mom's visiting and I mean, I can use this bathroom too. But what I do, I'm thinking about something else. <laughs> you see the guy say with the sign? Yeah. yeah, see the toilet flushes as soon as I say sell your house. It's like perfect into the yeah. <laughs> That's why I said it's super easy. You just let oh, no wonder they didn't see it because oh, it's cool. It's us. All right, good to see you. Oh my God, Greg Alexander's on here. He's been on here. That was the voice of God. Yeah, that's the voice of God. I he... figured it out. <laughs> Sorry, I don't even have on my lipstick. I'll have to think you Me either, Sarah. Don't worry. You've got a great personality, so it doesn't matter. And bad hair day. Oh, here you want me? Look, we're gonna compare hair. Yeah, look at mine. I haven't washed. You see all the white coming through because I quit dyeing it last year. That's that. why I hate to do videos. I hate pictures. I'm sorry. Can you beat this? Do you see it? This is white, not black. Hey, you got such a good country accent. You could do a video right now. That says I sell more houses than Hardy sells biscuits. Okay, I'll do it. And put biscuits dropping from the ceiling. <laughs> I would have a lot of followers if I would do it. I just got to do it. I've got a good one of them moving the piano right here. I like the piano one right here. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Hi, Greg. I'm on TikTok with y'all. Oh, I have to show you this video. Um, I was working at the school a few weeks ago uh, for the bookkeeper. She was out sick, and I subbed for her because that's what I retired from. And my ex boss is always driving me crazy. So I had went out to the car to watch a Keller Williams Zoom with, I can't remember what it was, is that bruise and something. Anyway, I fell asleep and he came to the window and scared me to death. I, my mouth is wide open in the video. I thought about posting that. That's I'm telling you, it's easy. He scared me to death. It looked like you'd shot me. It's so easy. Y'all got this. Do we Dude, write... already got half the song wrote. What? <laughs> Why doesn't he have the whole song wrote? He's working on it. Tell him to hurry up. We need a song for y'all, and then we'll come make a video. Deal? Okay. Deal. Do y'all have any more questions? No questions, but uh, I want that same invite, Candy. I want to do a video with you guys. Come do a video with me. You're in my I'm TikTok also... that I just made. Look. So let's play that. Look, I got you. Hold on. Oh, he's I want to. Oh wow! Congratulations. How how are your nights? Greg, talk again. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? And he's just hold on, keep talking. Hear me now. Oh, hey guys. 
<laughs> Fraser, you look amazing, by the way. <laughs> See, you're in a TikTok. You're making me you famous guys, already. Uh, you're welcome. It's my job in life. I think Fraser's yeah. name's so amazing, too. It's pretty amazing. Don't, don't give me a big head. Don't give me that's yeah, okay. Yeah. Do y'all have any more questions for us besides how we can help you? Well, I'm going to take you up on the help. Yeah, have we'll the, be there. Have the biscuits falling from the ceiling. I have a question, Katie. Who's it? Oh, it's Michelle. Hi. Michelle, do we get to um, see you? What do you suggest in regards to like hashtags? Because I I don't hashtag, and I guess I should. I got you. I'm, I'm texting you right now. Okay. I have them all saved in a note on my phone because I'm lazy. Okay. <laughs> hey, so one thing, um, Michelle, do you have a iPhone? Yes. Okay. So if you go into your iPhone and you go into... Um, oh my God, there's too many Michelles. Michelle wrote right there. Give me one second here. I'm going to tell you what to do. You can also go to TikTok hashtag.com. And it'll generate it for you. But I have that whole list of hashtags saved in my phone. Right. Hey, also, too, guys, to make things simple for you, if you go into your iPhone and go under text replacement, okay, text replacement, right. and, you, go, and you, you can add a shortcut, like say, your ta say you want to throw in these ta same tags every time you post, you can just type in, go to the plus sign, add tag, and then type in all the tags. So you don't have to physically type them in every time. Okay. I just hear me say copy and paste. It, it, it pastes it right on. Yeah, I don't type that in every time. But she's your I know. Well, it's like, don't type it in every time. I'm like, hell to the no, I'm lazy, dude. Well, that's what he's saying. You type in something like one simple word and it automatically pastes everything. Sets of hashtags, depending on what I post. Well, that has six different tags, what are you saying? You have to figure out which tag to use. Oh, it vibrates. Do you All see right. guys, like maybe throwing in random words? <laughs> I can't remember the the gentleman's name who was on earlier that said he had a million. And you RJ, he yeah. did tips and tricks and home tricks, home tips. Okay. Um, the day of the week also usually gets a lot. And I know that sounds weird, but it does. What does? The day of the week. Like if you posted today and did hashtag Tuesday. Okay. Thank you. So. All right, guys. All right, guys. If you need help, just call Fraser and I. Matt said in the bathroom, if you guys need to take a break after this, feel free to get some fresh water. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Thank you. Thank Great you. Job, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.